What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield. Hopping back onto that ranked level ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing a Zacian team alongside with one of my favorite Pokemon ever, which is Sharpedo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time to support me as a content creator. But like I said, this team showcases one of my favorite Pokemon Sharpedos. So it's a little bit off meta. So I really, really like this one. And it also has Crocodile, which actually boosts the off meta just a little bit more. So cannot wait to showcase this team and try to get some wins on that rank ladder. But starting off in that top left corner, we got to get started with my main man Sharpedo. Speed boost ability. So at the end of every single turn, we go plus one on speed. We got the Focus Sash as his item, and then we got Liquidation for Stab, Crunch for Stab, considering he's a Water and Dark type, which I really, really like. Then we got Protect as our third move, and our final move is going to be Destiny Bond. So maybe, just maybe, we can get some KOs with that. That's going to be a tough one, but very, very cool move. Maybe we can showcase that in a few battles. Right next to him is a very strong Pokemon, actually pretty meta for this series. It is Landers, but in this one form, I don't even know what the name of it is, but it's not the normal form that everyone used to use. It has Sheer Force ability. Life for bad items so it can hit even harder. Then we got Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Protect, and Substitute. Middle left is the one and only Tapu Fini, and this Tapu Fini is pretty much made to set up, be bulky, and kind of pester around. It's got Iron Defense, Calm Mind, so I can boost Physical Defense, Special Defense, Special Attack, and I think Speed Boost comes out with Calm Mind, right? Is it Speed Boost? No. I think it's just Special Defense and uh, Special Attack, so no Speed Boost. Muddy Water as its only stab hitting move, and Protect as its final move. It has the Misty Surge ability, and Leftovers as its item, so we can recover HP at the end of every single turn. Right next to him is going to be the Heart and Soul of the team. The Pokemon that's probably going to pick up the most KOs, that is going to be Zacian. Interpret Sword for its ability, Rusted Sword as its item, so every time we hop into battle, we're going to be able to get plus one on the attack board. Then we got Iron Head to play rough, both for stab, Protect as our Protect, and Sacred Sword for our coverage move. Bottom left corner is Incineroar over here, and this one's a little bit different. This Incineroar is not like your normal Incineroar rocket partner shot, all that good stuff on it. And this one has Fake Out, Flamethrower, Snarl, and Dark Bolt, so it's pretty similar considering Flamethrower is going to take the... Uh, Take away Flare Blitz, it's going to sub out for Flare Blitz, and Dark Pulse is basically subbing out for Darkest Lariat. But then we still have that normal Fake Out, and then we have the Snarl for Special Attack Drop. This one has the Assault Vest and the Intimidate ability. Bottom right corner is going to be our Choice Scarf Crocodile. I used this Pokemon a little bit back, and he was very, very good. I really like having the Choice Scarf add on the item for him, considering he can come in the back end or come in at any time and basically outspeed a Pokemon and pick up a big KO for the team. We also have Intimidate on this Pokemon and drop Physical Attack, so that's two Intimidate Pokemon on the team. The Physical Attackers, beware of the squad. And then we have the Choice Scarf item, like I just said. And then we got High Horse Power for Stab, Darkest Slayer for Stab, and then Rock Slide and Close Combat for our coverage move. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Zacian and Sharpedo team. Let's look to grab our first win in battle number one. We're going up against a Yvelth team alongside with Urshfu, Entei, Rillaboom, Celestial, and Regilecki. So pretty heavy meta Pokemon here. All these guys I feel like are used a lot in this series. So hopefully we kind of get after this one and grab ourselves that win. But the one problem I have with this team is there's really no speed control. There's no Icy Wind. There's no E-Web. There's no Tailwind. There's no Trick Room. So we kind of give the speed control to our opponent, but he, all he has is E-Web. So if we, as long as we can get rid of that Regilecki, I think we should be fine. I am going to lead the Incineroar, and I might lead the Sharpedo. It really depends. Do I lead the Sharpedo, or do I lead the Landers? I think Landers can be pretty good as a lead. I'm thinking of just leading the Landers, kind of getting after it this way. Rolling out for there. Yeah, I think Landers, Sharpedo, and Zacian in the back end could be really, really good for the squad. Yeah, I'm digging it. Considering our top of Finny doesn't have any fairy moves. Hmm. I really do like our, uh, instead of like Iron Defense, I wish we did have like Moon Blast because it just works so well. And Fairy is just such a strong typing. It could have worked really, really well up in this battle. But guys, let me know for question of the day. The Series 11 rule set has just been announced. Look it up. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. It's basically like Series 8. I think Series 8 is a series that's similar to where you can still have restricted mods. We're going to still be able to have one restricted mod per team. But Dynamax is coming back, which I'm actually really excited for. So we're going to be able to see Pokemon such as like Charizard come back, Porygon Z get a little bit more use and pokemon that used to use a uh, weakness policy get back in the game so cannot wait for series 11 it's just gonna switch up this uh, meta a little bit and kind of just bring it back to the old school but i wish it would have added something a little bit different kind of make it its very own series but it's pretty much the same as series 8 but intimidate is gonna come out here onto the uh the celestial do nothing to special attacking and then inner focus is gonna pop out on the ente and i could easily fake out i could easily just fake out which is exactly what i'm gonna do and then i'm just going to pose this threat of a uh of an ep 
Earth Power over onto Dante, which could be dandy, which could just be great. Let's just see what he does, because I feel like if we hit this thing with the Earth Power, it's definitely gone. Because we got Sheer Force, Stab, Super Effective, Life Orb, like just a bunch of boosts stacked up on top of each other. So I think we should be able to do enough damage on Tenente, even though it's rather bulky. It's rather, it's bulkier than Moose. I wouldn't say it's like enormously bulky, but let's see what he does. He does protect Celestial. Hopefully he keeps that uh, Ente in. He does. That's great. Is Ente going to outspeed? That's my question. Ente does a outspeed. He's going to go for Sacred Fire onto Landers, as long as he doesn't get a burn worth thriving here. Oh, okay. That's cool. You just get a burn. You just get a burn. You just get a burn. Luckily, we still take it out. Luckily, we still take it out because that is special attacking, but come on, man. You get a burn. Get out of my face. Every time I say, oh, as long as you don't get this, blah, 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 blah. Next thing I know, burn or freeze or sleep. Something along those lines. Poison. Every time I say that, every time it happens to me. But not a bad turn for us. He is going to end up dropping out into the Urshifu, which I'm pretty cool with. I might just, uh, what should I do here? What shall I do here? The flamethrower. Drop a flamethrower. I could snarl. He might start leech to do it. He, he does hit through protects, and I could see. Hmm, what do I think is gonna come out here? I got my sharpedo out here, but I think Landers kind of did his job. I really don't want to swap enough for some moves, so I'm just going to drop an EP. I can get this after him. Oh, I could take off Sash. I think I would totally rather take off Sash. I might just snarl. I might just snarl here just to take off Sash and get a special attack drop onto the Celestial. And then just if I can get off an EP, I'd rather get after this uh, Urshfu because he's posing a bigger threat right now. So, Earth Power's gonna come out here. Beautiful. I think he is fast on the field, and that is huge. Oh, it just dumps on him. It just takes him out, yo. Lander is doing him dirty. Lander is doing him dirty. Strong's gonna come out here, and he avoids the attack. Yo, get out my face. Heavy Slam comes out here. Yo, get out my face. You dodging that. All right, yo, I'm totally cool. But yes, sir, yo. I think we eat up with the burn, too. We do! A free Focus Sash! Finally! We get one. We get one, yo. We never get those. We never get them, but yo, this Landers is dumping on Pokemon left and right. Roboom's gonna fly out here. Um, I think I just drop a flamethrower on him, do deal as much damage as I can. I really like where we're sitting. Actually, I don't know. I really do not know. We do have to get after him. We definitely have to get after him with a flamethrower. He might fake me out, but I'm definitely gonna go flamethrower onto him. I know we have some speed, and I'm gonna double down onto him. I'm double down onto him, because he's either faking out, or he's going for a grassy battle on one of my Pokemon. If I double down, I could get some decent amount of damage onto him. So, he's going to protect the Celestial. Oh, yo, I like that turn. I like that turn all day. I thought it was a Robum at first. He's going to fake out onto Incineroar. Yo, dude, that's great. I'll go down the burn. I'll go down the burn. This thing's going to do more damage than my, uh... Yeah, look at that. That's going to do more damage than my Incineroar. But, yo, Landorus coming out here. He's coming out here and doing everybody dirty. Should have taken him out. He's so strong. He is so strong. That's why he's a huge part of this meta. He's so big in this meta. Considering there's no Dynamax, he can one tap Pokemon... Left and right. That wasn't even stab. It was just super effective. Wait, right, let's get my boy Sharpedo out here some loving. But yo, Cinnamon and Landers just dominating that first battle. Just dominating that first battle. Yo, one taps left and right. Left and right. Let's drop this. I am just going to go into a liquidation here. I do have my focus dash, but I see this guy's cancel battle, right? Yep, there's a cancel battle. We start off 1 0. We can hop through a second and try to show off Sharpedo a little bit more in that battle. I was definitely trying to get out my Sharpedo in that first battle, but hey. The Poke Gods gave us a free Focus Ash, and we take advantage of those. We were hitting Pokemon left and right, taking them out one shot, and just had to clean up that width. But we're going up against a Zassian team here in battle number two, so we get a little bit of mirror matchup. He also has the Roll Boom, who is definitely really scary. Such a good Pokemon. Then he has the uh, Cantonian Zapdos, the Reggie Drago, the Shuckle. Shuckle, I don't like. Shuckle is definitely a very scary Pokemon, and then Urshu as his final Pokemon. Uh, I don't know, dude. Shuckle just gives me, gives me weird vibes. Very, very strong. Um, I could go Crocodile. I am going to bring Incineroar. I gotta bring Lando again. He's just so good. Do I lead them to again? I might bring same squad. Hmm. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? Definitely want to lead the Incineroar. Dude, that attack drop is going to be huge. I might bring Crocodile in the back end. I might not even show Sharpedo some love here. We might not even show Sharpedo some love. Even though I really want to, I just feel like Crocodile is going to come in the back end a lot more. With double Intimidate, I feel like we have to bring it. I feel like we have to bring it. Sorry, Sarpedo. I'm so sorry. I really wanted you, but hey, yo, trust me, yo. Third and final battle, we definitely bringing you in. We definitely bringing you in. Definitely got to show off that Pokemon. Dude, I love it so much, but like I said, it's not as good as it is. It's not as good as I want it to be. But it's design. It's beautiful. It's design is beautiful. Love it. I love it. 
And I also love the, uh, what's it called? I also love the Mega Evolution design. But he has Shuckle out on the field. I don't like one bit. I think I'm gonna fake out the Shuckle. I really do feel like I'm gonna fake out the Shuckle. I can definitely see a Protect coming out here. Get a nice big Intimidate. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna fake out the Shuckle. I just see a Protect coming out from him, right? I'm gonna set up a sub. I'm gonna set up a sub. Fake out, I think Zassian's gonna protect here. I think Shuckle's gonna try some dumb stuff. And I think we're just gonna fake him out and be able to set up a free sub. That's what I think's gonna happen. That is what I think's gonna happen. He's gonna withdraw Zassian, that's even better. I'll take that all day. I'll take that turn all day. He's gonna bring out the bird. He's gonna bring out the bird. We're gonna be able to fake out onto the Shucks. Chip him up a little bit. And then our substitute is popping. It is popping, so we get off a free sub. Great first turn read by me. I thought he was going to protect, but hey, swap's even better. I'll take a swap all day. Um, I think this thing is special attacking, I want to say. So I'm going to Snarl. I could just EP. I do have, to, I do have to start getting rid of the Shuckle. Shuckle's a pain, dude. Such pain. I just double down on him. I could double down on Zapdos. I'm going to do that. I kind of want to get my Incineroar out here. That's why I wish we had Parting Shot on him. This would have been a great turn to just parting shot and bring out Zacian. Would have been great. Because then I could have had two Intimidate Pokemon in the back end. Which would, been, which would have been lovely. But dude, that Shuckle scared me, man. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, dude. Because I... Dude, it's just... It's just so good. It's just such a good support mod. Clutch Bomb's going to be able to fly through here. Sell for sub up. Get some nice damage. Give me a Poison. Give me a Poison. No Poison comes out here. And a Heat Wave's going to drop. And that should be fine. Laner's sub should not go down to that. It does. What you mean, bro? I thought we were going to get an extra turn out of that one. And Snarl's going to fly. The Snarl flies. We know that another Sludge Bomb will take that out all day. We know another Sludge Bomb will take it out all day. So I am just going to Sludge Bomb target that. And I might hard swap. Just a Sticky Web. Sing a Sticky Web. This thing's webbing, bro. He's webbing. So let's go Flamethrower. Actually, can Dark Pulse flinch? It can flinch. Can it? It can. I might go for Dark Pulse. I'm gonna look for a flinch here. I'm just gonna sludge bomb over into the slot. He's sticky webbing me. Son of a biscuit. Sticky webbing me. There's that. If he brings out Zassian, I'm just gonna throw out another Intimidate with the Crocodile. And kind of go from there. Here comes the Dark Pulse. Give me a flinch. Give me a nice little flinchy. Give me a flinchy. Hey, yo. Yo, what? Yo, Shuckle. Yo, this dude's setting up for disasters here. He's gonna be able to take off my Sash. I wish I had, like, Rapid Spin. This thing is setting up. Yo, we have Sticky Web and Stone Rock. I cannot take them out. Just chilling on the floor, man. So the swap outs are tough. He's probably going to send out back outs asking, right? No, Robum's going to pop. Robum is going to pop, which is going to make me uh, protect this uh, Landorus. And just drop a flamethrower. He might fake me out. Let's see what he does. Let me go here. And, I, dude, I might just double down on him. No, I'm going to protect turn one. What should I double down? Let's just protect. Let's just protect. Let's play this one smart. Let's play this one slow. Yo, the Incineroar and Landers lead is so good. It is so good. Let's see what it does. Fake out my... Oh, no. He fakes out him. I knew I should have Sludge Bomb, man. What's this Shuckle going to do? It's going to rock to him. This dude's a nut. This Shuckle's a nut. This Shuckle's hilarious, man. Okay, so... If all this happened here, I might just uh, drop a... Drop a Flamethrower. I do, like... I'm, I'm going to double down into him. Definitely double down into him. Go for a sludge bomb. He might glide onto me, but I think he's gonna try to get rid of my Incineroar. Here goes the glide. That's scary. Eat sub all day. Lando, I love you. Yo, Lando, tell this Robin to get out of our face. Oh, it doesn't do enough. Doesn't do enough. But Flamethrower's gonna be able to come in here. Clean up that one. Yo, dude. Yo, dude, this lead's so good. This lead's too good. We got a crit, dude. We are just ripping on these guys. We are just ripping. We are ripping out here. Rock Tomb's gonna come through here. And Lando eats! Yo, dude, I love Lando. I love Lando. Okay, so he's gonna bring out the uh gonna bring out Zassian. I'm, I'm really not worried about this shuffle at all. I mean he brings out this Zassian. I'm just gonna hard swap into my uh Crocodile because Intimidate is great. Cause I wanna get I wanna get at least two intimidates on the same. Cause if I can get two intimidates out here. My Zassian should be able to come out here and clean up the battle all day. Let's hard swap into you. And then, do I just protect you? Or do I go for a turn? Hmm. 
What does Jeans want to do? I'm gonna protect him this turn. I'm gonna protect my, my poor little Lando. Soft Incineroar, get off and Intimidate, get out the Crocodile. So we have him bringing Zassian back down to zero, which is great. We're caught in the Sticky Web and the Stealth Rocks. Oh my lord. Don't like it one bit, but our Intimidate is still coming out here. It's still coming out here. We still might be able to outspeed with that Choice Scarf. Even though we're minus one, I think we should be fine. Yeah, hit up on this. I could see like a close combo or secret sword coming out here. Lay rough flying through here. And yo, Crocodile with the dodge. With the dodge, baby. With the dodge. We're back up to full health. Yo, he dodged that play rough all day. All day, baby. Huge dodges. Okay. So with all this in here, I'm just gonna go for high horsepower. It's ground. It's stab. And I'm gonna double down with his ass here. Hopefully he doesn't protect. Let's see what he does here. He can go for that play rough. And he's gonna take out my crooked owl. He's gonna take out my crooked owl with that. I thought maybe, just maybe we can outspeed with the scarf, but we were minus one. And he's gonna be able to pick up an easy double kill. Well, actually, Lando goes first. That's huge. I can KO. Oh my lord, dude. Oh my lord, dude. This Pokemon is too good. He is way too strong right now. Our team's gonna fight through it. Is that gonna take him out? Yep, Lando finally goes down for two battles. After two battles. Someone finally takes out Lando. After how many KOs? What is it, six already on the board? I think he has six. Right? He killed everything so far. Actually, no. Yeah, he has five. The what's it called killed him. The, uh, the Incineroar killed the uh, Real Boom. So he has five. He has uh, three in last battle and two here. And two here. He has five KOs in two battles. Just rip it up. This is our first time throwing out Sassy. We didn't even need him. We didn't even need him. You know, Sticky Webs and Stealth Rock is going to... Do work on both my guys. It's totally fine. Totally fine. We get our attack boost still in it. And this is GG. This dude's gonna cancel. Dude's gonna cancel. But yo, back to back victories with this squad? With this squad? We definitely gotta show off Sharpedo in the next one. Definitely gotta show him off. We did get Crocodile out here, but you guys pretty much already know what Crocodile does. If Sticky Web wasn't there, we definitely were just gonna be able to dump on that uh, Zassian all day. Because he would have been able to outspeed and would have been chilling. Let's go for the fake out into the Behemoth Blade, but I think he just cancels, right? Yep, he cancels. 2 0. Let's grab ourselves that perfect record and showcase Sharpedo. Time to give Sharpedo some loving in battle number three. Hopefully, we catch a win with him. We're going up against a super, super strong Shadow Rider Calyx team that features Ndidi, Regilecki, and Regidrago. And then he has the Urshfu and then the Tailwind Control with the Whimsicott. Okay. Trying to think of how I should go into this. I definitely actually want to bring Sharpedo in here. Considering we have some dark moves over here. Dark can rip up onto the Shadow Rider Calyrex. So, might just lead to Sharpedo. But the scary thing is going to be that, uh... Oh, I could lead Choice Scarf Crocodile. Oh, let's do that. Let's go here. Just in case... He wants to go Regilecki in this turn. We can go Choice Scarf Crocodile. Actually, hmm... I not even want to lead him. Let's go Crocodile and Sharpedo. That could be really, really good. We're definitely going to bring the Lando and I think Zassian. I don't even think we're going to want Incineroar here. I mean, Fake Out is going to be good for us, but... Hmm. I mean, we have seven seconds, so we might as well just lock in this team. That's a tough call. That's a tough call. Because I really want Crocodile and I have to bring Sharpedo. Like, Sharpedo is my must Pokemon. Oh, yeah. We got random We got random music on. What, what is this, yo? This is a jam. This might be the... Is this a song where you're going up against Zassian or Zamazetta? I think it might be. I think it might be, but hey, we gotta catch ourselves a win. Focus on the battle, not the soundtrack. But that leads me to say, yo, getting hyped for Diamond Pearl, because the soundtrack is live. The soundtrack is so good. It really is. So, I'm excited for that one. We're gonna lead the Crocodile and the Sharpedo, which is great. It's just great news here. Um, how do I play this one? How do I play this one? I'm thinking of protecting the Sharpedo and trying to drop, like, a high horsepower into the uh, Regilecki. And then, say he protects his uh, Regilecki, I could always just swap into my Landorus and just block all these electric moves, you know? But yeah, there's Protect from him. Okay, so Tailwind's gonna get set up. Tailwind's definitely gonna get set up here. I might, uh, I could have Speed Advantage here. I'm, I'm gonna be plus one, but again, Tailwind is gonna set up. We know Tailwind's out and about, so this is my thing I would've been cool. Would've been just great. So I'm thinking he's gonna hard swap the Regilecki. I'm not even gonna lie. Does he have any flying? If any Pokemon is just gonna be like, okay, this ground move ain't nothing. Um, no, he doesn't. High horsepower is gonna be big damage. I wish I could protect again. Definitely gonna keep this uh, choice into a high horsepower. And then, do I just swap to Lando? 
Or swap the Lando. Yeah, let's swap into the Lando here. Keep our Sharp Peter for the back end. Know which all events are like. Dang, dude, we should have kept them in. But we get a free swap into Orlando, which is just, which is just great. So Sharp Peter's gonna dip back. We won't get out of Lando. My main man, pots and pans. And he could just be going for it. Yeah, fairy move. Kind of scary. We're able to eat up. I was probably gonna fly through here. How much damage can we chip away on this thing? It's a little, about half. Okay, I'm with it all day. I think we double down into Urshfu here. I could just sledge bomb over on you, which he could be sash. Go here. He doesn't have moon blast. He's rocking dazzle and lean. But he's gonna be able to pick up one KO onto me. And who's he gonna choose? That's the real question. Who's he gonna choose here? He gets a crit on my land. Get out of my face. He's gonna end up choosing, I think, Lando's here. Let's see. Yep. Poor Lando. Poor Lando. Guaranteed crit. He gets that. Mm. How do I play this one out? How do I play this one out? This one's gonna be tough. This one is going to be tough. High horse is gonna fly through. Can we KO with that? Yes. Okay, so we get a huge KO. That's a big KO on a Pokemon like that. And now he might bring back out Regilecki. Which leads me to bring in Zassian, I think. And saving Sharpedo for that back end. Because I'm thinking the final Pokemon is going to be like Shadow Rider Cow, right? Oh no, it's going to be Reggie Drago. It's going to be Reggie Drago here. And we do have a Fairy move, which is really, really good. And he cannot hit me with that. I can just go into the Fairy move with that, so I'm really liking Zassian here. I'm really liking Zassian. What's called is definitely going to go down here. Our, uh... Our crocodile is definitely gonna go down here. So I mean, we should drop the high horsepower. And I'm thinking of just dropping the high horsepower on the Whimsicott in order to uh, just do damage on it because Veggie Dragon might protect here. Let's see what he's gonna do. The Dragon move cannot hit me. It cannot hit me. And I'm thinking he's rocking all Dragon moves, maybe with a Hyper Beam. And same thing with Reg like he's probably rocking all Electric moves, maybe with a Hyper. But that's really what they're used. For. Used for either just dragon or electric. Reggie Drago's here for just big dragon damage. This guy's gonna charm. Oh no! Charms me. Get out of my face. Get out of my face with that one. Charms me. This won't affect me. Oh my god, he's charming me. I'm thinking it's just double protecting here. Charms. Mm, 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 mm. Of course, this thing's rocking charm. Player Ruff's still gonna come out here. How much damage are we doing? That's so good damage. I can still get down with that damage. Tailwind does Peter out here. He's probably going to set up another one. Uh, do I protect? What is my play? I think I save my protect. I think I save my protect for next turn. I think we crunch here. Take out you on that slot, and then we just go into here. I probably should have protected my uh, Lando. But, oh, not my Lando, my Zassian. But I think he's going to go into a Tailwind instead of a Charm this turn. Reggie Drago's gonna protect. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So the Tailwind does get set up. I have Destiny Bond. So once I start getting my speed boost up, it'll be really, really good. So good thing I did not uh, waste my protect this turn. Behemoth Blade might bring us down the Sash. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. Please show me you're not Sash. Let me just take you out. He is Sash. He is sitting on a Sash. He's not. He just got a free Sash. Yo, what you mean? What is this game? What is this game? Alright, I need to start boosting my speed up high. So, I think I just double protect this turn and start wasting out Tailwind. That's a must. That is a must. That is an absolute must. I'm, I, I think I can win this one with a Destiny Bond. I'm, I'm just trying, I'm like, I'm thinking it out in my head. Because I think if you Destiny Bond, uh, the opposing Pokemon will die first if you can't you. So I gotta use it after my Sash, and I, that's the reason I'm boosting my speed. I have to boost up my speed here in order to be able to outspeed that Reggie, uh, Regilecki and get my Destiny Bond off before he goes. There's more speed boost. Just keep boosting. Just keep boosting that speed. So we still have the Sash. Um, just going to drop this thing with a Crunch. My right, Crunch will do more damage than the Zassian, you know, I think. Or I could go into Liquidation. Actually, Liquidation will be not very effective. So Crunches are definitely our best bet. So I crunch him, and then I go into, I guess, just a Behemoth Blade again. All right, yeah, let's just go into a Behemoth Blade here. Never mind, too. I think he's going to try Fake Tearing me. Let's just see how this one plays out. I think Regilecki is definitely a bit faster. He's going to Gleam, and he's going to take off my Sash. 
and I need to outspeed this turn. Punch does come out here. We do outspeed. That's lovely. That is lovely. That is huge. Now I just Destiny Bomb. Now I just Destiny Bomb, right? Well, I could protect this turn. I am going to protect this turn. I am going to protect this turn. Because I would rather Zassian get off a move first. Just in case this thing protects, I don't want a Destiny Bond this turn. So I think Protect is definitely going to be fight. And we get off another speed boost. So let's roll it, dude. Yo, Sharp Pedo coming in big, yo. Got to showcase this Pokemon. Got to showcase him. And hey, looking like we're going to get that win or that perfect record, guys. With the Sharp Pedo squad. With the Sharp Pedo squad. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So let's Protect again. Sharp Pedo with Protect. I guess we'll just go for a play rough. Let's see what he does here. I th I'm thinking he might protect. He could cancel battle too. I protect. Is he gonna protect? Let's see what he's rocking. He's just gonna go for the Thunderbolt. And oh, yo, he beats me. He beats me hard. I wonder who he's gonna go after here. That one does Peter out here. And yo, Sharp Peter's gonna be out, out speed. I think we just go for the Crunch and finish this one up. Is that a Destiny Bond in? Because, yeah, look at our speed. Plus four without that. Yo, if this Sharpedo is out speed, I'm going to quit. I quit this game. I'm going to go for a Liquidation to finish this one off. And I'm going to I'm gonna protect Zassian just in case. I'm just going to protect Zassian just in case. Protect comes out from Zassian, and Liquidation should be able to just totally out speed. Plus four on the board. Speed boost coming in clutch. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. My main man, Sharpedo, clutching up, picking up two big KOs on the Reggie Draco and Regilecki in order to grab ourselves that perfect record. I hate to break it to you guys, but I have to tell you this. Sharpedo is now the greatest Pokemon in VGC ever. I did not say it first. I was not the first to say it. I'm just going off of what pro players are saying. They say Sharpedo is now the best Pokemon. Everybody should rent it. Everybody should use it. Now, I'm just playing, but yeah, this team right here was so much fun to use. Absolutely love Sharpedo. Super, super fun Pokemon to use, and I'm really, really glad in a third and final battle we got to showcase it to its fullest potential, pick up some KOs, and win that battle. But yo, MVP of this video, definitely Landers. Landers teed off in the first two battles, getting five KOs, just one tap in left and right, and bringing us to victory. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody